at the lake. All right, let me go get warm and do this the right way. Obviously, before I got this going, I got a bunch of little sticks and some medium sticks. And as you saw sawing there a couple minutes ago, a couple larger sticks. Now this has to be able to burn through the moisture that's probably caked down there. Plate. I haven't had breakfast yet. I just need this to be big enough to put my breakfast. There we go. and spam around. There we go. That'll be good. 
uh, part of being out here is controlling the calories anyway, so the fact that I essentially skipped a meal, that's going to win. But hey, it's delicious. Spam and egg scramble, baby. Woo! And some oatmeal. <laughs> Put a little baker's tent opening in the front. With two poles. We have Dale from the F&D Outdoors joining us. What's going on? Hi, Dale. <laughs> Hi, Alex. <laughs> Well, I'm sad to say that Nessie has sunk. So I've been here a few times the last couple of years and there's a little stick that sticks out that looks like a head in the shadows and she's gone. We got camp up there. That's uh, Tim or Tim Tay on Bushcraft USA, Alex Outdoors from YouTube and here on Woodsman from Instagram. Across out there we have the Great Lake Woodsman. We're gonna go meet him soon and then we have a few more people on the way. That guy. Hey, I like those check bags there. Now is there a name for this? Um, it's a bushcraft tarp and I don't remember what the setup is called. Oh, is that the bushcraft USA tarp? Yeah, I love that thing. Ah, it's like one of my wood stocked up. I'm <laughs> <laughs> oh, just out here checking out some of the hammock setups oh, people yeah. have. This under quilt and he's bought the, the, the uh, hammock he's made. Oh yeah, wow. That looks comfortable. Well, you can tell you've been here for a while because no one's got yeah. thick, thick snow under anything. I'm sorry, did you say vegan? Yes, I did. <laughs> Good for them. But he's, you know, he's made choices. He likes it, you know, but he's, uh, he just, I worked with him two weeks ago and he just made an anorak like this. Ah, the Tyvek. Oh yeah. So he's got a bunch of reflectix on the floor so his feet aren't cold in the morning? Yep. Now Ed weighs probably that. about 230. Okay. He's so got a war setup. Yeah, it yeah, could like be. He's got a war bonnet hammock with a uh, under quilt protector. Zero degree quilts underneath. And I believe zero inside. Alright, well, we're back from exploring our neighbors. Uh, Tim is taking off, but he's got some awesome axe accessories. Alex and Charlie uh, are over there. We've got Grayson across the lake, group of the hammockers on the other side of the campground, or the uh, lake over there, and you saw some of their awesome setups. Here's my setup, a little garage for the sled, but uh, staying in my four season tent. But it's just beautiful out here. I got a nice warm fire. Nice warm sleeping bag. My wife was awesome. Made me a four ply fleece liner for it. So it's a 20 degree bag. It's going to be about five degrees. But I got four layers of fleece either way when I go to bed tonight. And I uh, have a feeling I might be a little too warm even though it's going to be frigid. So beautiful night. Well, I'm going to go have some dinner. Have that chicken teriyaki uh, mountain house. Just got to heat up some water. And it looks like uh, uh, Grayson's going to join me. And uh, we're going to have some dinner. And then Go hang out with some of the other guys. Man, it's chilly, but uh, just got in my tent and uh, it's not feeling too bad. I had the windows open all day. Who knew? I just set it up and threw my gear in, but had my dinner. Just sat by the fire, nice and warm, and uh, I'm having a great time. So, just my secret for staying a little warmer winter camping is, uh, and I won't film it for your, for your benefit, I won't film it. But uh, is I'm gonna set up my sleeping bag, my sleeping roll, and then I have that four layer fleece liner my wife just made me. It's awesome. It's like plaid on one and green on the other. I'll show it to you in the morning. But uh, is to take off all my clothes, get on dry clothes for tomorrow. That uh, so the moisture, you know, if it does get cooler, that moisture doesn't sap the heat from your body, and uh, should be a warmer night because it's gonna be a cold night tonight, especially with the wind chill. Um, definitely towards zero uh, Fahrenheit and uh, it's gonna be cold but it's all right man it's uh, winter camping it's fun uh, if you're not getting out and doing it and you can you should give it a shot all right well uh, 90 night here in uh, Reed Lake foot trails from F&D Outdoors and subscribe <gasps> here I think I got it all right well hopefully you can capture some volume nothing wants to seem to work in the cold weather but we'll give it a go here's my sleeping situation here's a, a four layer fleece liner my wife made me blue on the inside 
green on the out or uh, plaid on the out with this nice heavy duty zipper. I'm cooking some breakfast. Over here we got the bacon starting to cook. Pan fry it, and then I'll toss the eggs in the grease and uh, fry those up. So breakfast time. Well, there, well, there's a will, there's a way. I say, my phone batteries that I used to have cord with just won't take a charge, and I forgot to bring the charger. So I have to go out to the car to get that. It's nothing like a two-mile hike for a phone charger. Okay. Let's get that back on the fire. All right, still go. All right. That's going to be crunchy. Lose the bacon, no lose the bacon. Huh. Those are probably be good mixed in. There we go. Egg time. I'll scramble those up a little bit. The lake makes this cool sound. I heard it a few times last night as the ice is expanding. You know, it pushes the borders and caves itself in and makes these bloop, bloop, bloop sounds, and it's pretty cool. I don't know if you can hear it in the background or not. Probably not. But we're gonna hold up, have a strip of bacon here before the eggs are done. Oh yeah, because it's still hot. Mmm. I hope you can hear that crunch. Oh yeah, that's good. I'll put a 
bacon in there. Heat up one last little time. Good morning. Just in time for a late breakfast. First breakfast. Uh, and this is uh, TZ Brown. There we are, Dale and then Aaron. Aaron, that's right. And uh, you guys will probably be on YouTube, maybe, depending if this picks up audio. All my other cameras died because of the cold. And this one's only running because it's on a consistent power pack. Man. I say down into the right takes you nice or the young man Grayson already left because he had to got called into work but he just cut across the lake more power to him wow. uh, yeah if we were really sure we'd just go <laughs> yeah no <laughs> hmm. exactly later guys Hmm. Well, breakfast is gone. So sad. Hmm. Well, that's it for breakfast. Now to just continue to stay warm until, well, it's kind of a late breakfast, so lunch slash dinner. Honestly, it looks like it's going to be hot. Yeah. Hopefully, that's Oh, micro space to heat up. Military uh, pup tent. Looks like he's got the reflective liner and big old plastic bag on there. It'll be toasty. All right. Well, I got to hike and uh, back to the car to get my power cord which was a stupid oversight, so I can charge up my phone slash camera. Got to call the missus, talk to the kids tonight. So, honey, if you see this, now you know why I didn't respond to you last night, and I am sorry, but I'll go take the extra lock, get the cord, so I can charge up the phone. Here we go. You can see here where the beaver have come through and uh, cleared out all these little two inch diameter trees there's tons of these things going down the hill there and then there across the lake is uh where their little den is at we'll walk over there later and check them out oh also thank you to jen and troy and Sophia for this uh, backup pack. Uh, the other backup pack that I have really didn't respond to the cold weather too too well. This one, still at a full charge, keeping the GoPro going and it's gonna charge my phone, so I'm using it right away, and thank you. A little Christmas present. See more where the beavers just cleared it out. I'll take you over and show you the beaver dam first. Ah, there's their den. See, they're active over here too. They're just chomping down all sorts of stuff so they can make their home sweet home. 
Heck, you can probably even see this little path right here, kind of carved out. They probably go through there. <clears throat> now they're mostly nocturnal, so we're probably not going to be bothering them too much being over here. But you can see there's a, clearly a path right here that they're going in and out all the time. So it's right down there. When I'm here in the summertime, or fall, you can hear them bloosh, slapping their tails and jumping in the water. And you can see they got all the trees here chopped up. Right there. Pretty cool. So hopefully they're in there staying warm and resting in their little beaver house. I love this grove of pine trees just right here on the edge of the trail. They're all nice young pine trees. Young-ish. Just looks cool. Really cool. That's not just because it's 15 degrees out. <laughs> oh man. How's that? It's the middle of January. The high for the day today is 15 degrees Fahrenheit. At no, night, it's next to, next to zero. That's if you're in your tent. And the wind chill in the negatives. I mean, it's cold. Like, don't take your gloves off for more than a minute cold. And look at the parking lot here. One, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. I mean, eleven cars, twelve, thir thirteen cars, and uh, it's crazy. Just a group of us that are crazy enough, well, to come out here. But we love it. So I'm gonna grab that phone cord and head back. <clears throat> well, I'm almost back to camp. So about two, somewhere maybe two and a quarter, two and a half miles round trip. No big deal, but I showed this on the way my way out, but I have to show it again on the way in because it's just beautiful. Hopefully the sun's not causing too much of a glare. Just gorgeous. Oh, that's exactly what I needed. You know, I've got a pretty comfortable bed at home, but last night in the freezing cold is probably the best night's sleep I've had in months. Just, I feel like I may have slept for 10 or 11 hours. There you go. Where's that from? The, the bacon? Yeah. It's a Cisco Reliance label 7 and 9 count. Okay. You know what all that is? Nope. And most people don't. I sold groceries for a living and I own a restaurant, so I know food in depth. Fair enough. 7 and 9 count means 7 and 9 slices to a pound. So they're two oh, slices. so she's thick. Right. Sunlight. Uh. Yeah. We're not about speed here, we're just about cutting and not sweating. But this is a nice saw. Look at how pretty that looks. Break time? Pardon? Break time? Uh, sure. I think I'm going to try to split that with the axe and take my Enzo and make a little feather stick. Well, we got some well done bacon. Brought to you by fire. <laughs> Alrighty. 
get my axe and see if I can split a piece of this. I'll make you look cool. Badass. Not a bad first time. I'd say that worked. Okay, this is my Enzo knife kit for the Trapper uh, 115F and uh, we're going to see if we can make some feather sticks out of it and baton some wood. Go right through. I mean that'll work through. Beautiful. And I'm no feather sticking expert. As you can see, this is making some fine, tight little curls. Thanks again, Tom, for the knife. So got the last bit of water on there to boil and then maybe out to the lake to chop out some ice and get some more water. Alright, beautiful. Yeah, hell yeah. Uh, Alright, let's go. Going to get some water. Kind of. It's not enough snow to gather. Seriously though, this gallon of snow would boil down to like a cup. Yeah. I'd probably much rather drink like some fresh, a foot deep of fresh snow than this lake water, but once it's boiled, at least it's safe. In the summertime, we'll filter it and, you know, if you're thirsty, you just chug it down. All right. Oh, good. You mean you can boil a lot in that. Yeah. We'll use the lid or my to fill it up. I got a cup in here too, so. Oh, nice. Now, admittedly, I've never used these before because I didn't know they were here, but they're oh. stairs. Oh, those stairs? Yeah. Oh. This has always been so overgrown, I never saw them. All right, that guy on the ice, here we go. If I die, sorry, honey, I don't have any secret money. Yeah. Okay. Pounds per square inch. I'm dispersing it amongst better. All right, I hope you see me risking my life for water. Uh. So we gotta break through the lake until we get some water. We're not going in, but that was sketchy a little bit. No? Well, I can feel the 
There it goes. Oh, yeah. All right. I'm gonna grab me that bucket. Sure, sure. Well, here, shake your lid off. Is there water on my lens? No. I don't oh, think perfect. I wish I had my sunglasses out here, not that it was bright, but I wouldn't have had ice chips flying in my yeah. face. And you're okay. No one died. Nope. <laughs> uh, I don't matter. Uh, once I've been there, I feel pretty comfortable. Uh, oh. I don't care about your health at all. <laughs> 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 you could probably just do that right here, no? Yeah, we probably could have. Yeah. So, alright, I'm back on dry ground. Nothing to see. Almost easier. Nothing to see here. Don't try this at home. I mean, we're definitely not professionals, but that could have been stupid. <laughs> All right. There we go. Dinner time here. Time to whip up some dinner. Having some asparagus, ribeye steak, and uh, some mashed potatoes. I'm going to start by slicing up one little piece of bacon from uh, Charlie here and putting it in with my asparagus and some leftover eggs. <laughs> and then uh, we'll get the steak on the grill and then last I'll throw some boiling water in my instant mash and be good to go. There we go. Got some logs in the fire for the grill. You want uh, me to transfer the water and start boiling you up some? Uh, sure, if you want to, yeah. And I uh, freeze dried this at home with some Montreal steak seasoning, of course, because what else would we use? Smells great. All right, let's get this closer together. Slide that over. And then cook these both at the same time. Look at that. And now our steak, also vacuum sealed with steak seasoning. some of the ash out of there. There we go. My favorite, Land of Lakes Caramel Hot Cocoa. It's about as manly as it gets when it comes to hot cocoa. And now my favorite shot ever. Shots of me. It's my favorite. Can I do that? Uh, oh no, I'm good. I got to lay there. Whew.
beautiful. We're definitely going to sear up some of the bacon that way. Got to get over there and make sure she doesn't scorch. She'll be fine. She's covered in bacon. Yeah, bacon, that asparagus, it's cooking up nice. We'll slow that steak down a little bit. All right, our asparagus is done with our julienne bacon. So we're gonna put it in the tray here, continue to cook that, and then we'll mix the mashed potatoes in here. Let's see if we can get this thing set up so I can record that. Water's boiling. One cup, let's call that two cups. Okay, it was not two cups. Add a little more. Added our mashed potatoes, we got our asparagus and bacon on there, and now our beautiful steak. There we go, guys. That's uh, probably maybe the best meal I've ever cooked and eaten in the wild. Bon appetit. Oh, it's about 8.40. It's a lot colder tonight because it's crystal clear. I wish that uh, my camera could pick up the stars because it's just absolutely gorgeous absolutely gorgeous plus the lake and just the snow everything's perfect but about eight o'clock another guy from bushcraft usa showed up named titus a little late but he's hiking in having some dinner saying hello and heading out but uh it's gonna be a colder night tonight hopefully we stay warm and then we're gonna pack up and go home in the morning but got the fire over here nice and cozy oh man dinner was good Breakfast was good. I slept in so late that for lunch I really just had a uh, <clears throat> uh, special, uh, excuse me, a, a kashi bar and one one extra thick slice of bacon that uh, they were making over the fire. And it's been a great weekend. I uh, like it. So check out some of my pictures on Instagram and hopefully you watch this video and like it and share it and leave a comment.
You didn't think I was gonna leave you behind. <laughs>